Welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to do a video about my ex my first experience um, going to driving school and um, if some of you don't already know what driving school is basically it's a uh, school basically where you learn how to um, drive or you know you learn how the rules and you learn basically the ins and outs of driving and the traffic laws and um, how to drive in uh, bad weather conditions, how to maneuver your car in like emergencies, like all like of the things that you should know about driving, that's what driving school um, like helps you with. And it also trains you in car like driving lessons as well. So you'll be more prepared when you're ready to go take your G2 uh, road test. So there's obviously different types of um, driving schools out there like it differs from um, where you live or um, where you're from um, but since I'm in um, Canada I live in Canada um, I went to a driving school that's closer to me uh, the driving school that I went to is called Maple Driving School and it's about 27 minutes away from where I live and um, so I with this driving school that I went to um, they had two packages. So the first package is, is you get 20 hours in class and you get 10 hours in car training and you also get 10 hours worth of homework. So yes, it's cool. You have to do homework. You have to sit in a classroom and listen to the teacher teach you. And it's kind of weird because I'm going to like, I went to driving school and now like soon, you know, like soon I'm going to be going to like my actual school, going back to school, whatever. And um, so, and the second package is uh, 20 hours of in-class learning and you get 11 hours in car training and also 10 hours worth of homework. And you get to, with the package number two that I chose, you're able to use the instructor's car for when you're ready to do your road test as well. So that's the package I chose. If you already have a car or if your family member um, can lend you a car or a friend can lend you a car, then um, the package two is not really suitable for you. The package two is suitable for people who don't um, have access to a car or who, or who don't have a family member who drives or anything like that. So they need access to the package two so they can have access to the instructor's car on the day when they want to take their road test. Okay, so in my driving school, they're offering a uh, back to school special. So they were offering, and it's like it's a four day course. So my day like ended today. So it started from the 29th and ended um, September 3rd. September 1st, no, so yeah, September 1st, so which is today, September uh, 1st, so that's, today was my last day and it ended, so I just want to talk about on how, like, it went and just like, my experience on, um, what do you, ex what would you expect if you're deciding to do, uh, driving school and what are the benefits when you do the driving school. So the benefits are, the number one, the benefits is uh, to get knowledge, okay, so to get like upgraded knowledge on the road signs, upgraded knowledge on the laws, on what you should do and what you shouldn't do when driving on the road, uh, being able to control your temper, you know, not be able to have any road range or anything like that. So basically giving you extra knowledge that uh, maybe like the handbook couldn't give you or maybe a family member couldn't give you like a lot of knowledge or a friend couldn't give you a lot of knowledge. So driving school is the best thing to go to when you need to upgrade your knowledge and know the ins and outs of driving. The second benefit is that when you get your G1 license, so when you go and take your G1 written test, they tell you that you need to wait one whole year, so that's 12 months, you need to wait one whole year before you can uh, take your G2 road test. But if you take driving school, if you go to a driving school, and there's different driving schools who, who are uh, ministered to 
the Ministry of Transportation, so they're connected, they're linked up, so they know when you take a class or not, if you take driving school or not, because they um, will see it on your record. And um, when you do take the driving school, then your, I guess, your sentence gets reduced to eight months, and you're able to wait eight months instead of a whole year before taking your G2 vote test. So that's another benefit on why you should I mean, driving school is a good idea to do because your time gets reduced. And um, the third thing is that you're when you're ready to buy a car or whatever, your your insurance. That's when you buy insurance. When you get insurance on a car or whatever, your insurance it gets reduced also. So. Um, uh, I don't, I'm not sure how much it gets reduced to, but for sure, for sure, I know that your insurance does get reduced. Um, and even I don't know how much you get reduced. Um, like, all I know, it just gets reduced. And um, that's a beautiful thing because, you know, cars these days, insurance are like sky high. And they they check, they, the, the insurance that you get is based on your age or if you're a teenager or where you live or if you have driven a car before like it's based on all these different like things that can make your insurance like way 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 too expensive so the driving school helps you reduce that when you're ready to uh, buy a car or get a car in your name or you have to buy insurance or anything like that so driving school helps you reduce that so those three things are the benefits of um, why driving school is important to take and why it's good to do it. So, um, because of my driving school was like only four days, so it lasted uh, Monday to Thursday. Um, so the first day when I went in, um, I got lost. So I obviously I got lost trying to find this place, obviously, and um, so it's like I my expectations were very high I should like I should not have my expectations to be really high because going into the, the driving school I was expecting it to be an a legit like school kind of thing like a legitimate school with like um, other classrooms with um, you know like I, I don't know like I had like, this big vision in my head but it was totally not um, first of all the driving school that I went to was like in this convenience store plaza thing and um, it was by a church and you had to go upstairs and um, turn the corner and then there was room right there and so when you walk in there's like the receptionist you sign in you, you pay um, so yeah so the package so the packages that I chose was like, like about like five hundred dollars um, which was not bad because I do get you know I do get the 11 hours of in-car training I do get like the 20 hours of class and I also get the instructor's car so like for me I think that that's a pretty good deal and tax and whatever is already included into that so that's good and so I signed in and I paid and then uh, they gave you like this booklet so the booklet is like your homework that you need to do or you can do it in class like basically when you do the homework most of the answers that we they, they discuss or we talk about are, are we already talked about in class and we do the homework basically together so like it's not like homework that oh if you don't do your homework like you automatically fail no like you do we all help each other out and you able to do the homework in class or you can take it home and you can do it by yourself or whatever and because it's school you also get like tests so you so you get um i think it's you get four tests you get two tests and then you get a midterm and then you get a final test and um, you need, I think you need 15 to pass. And if you get below that, you have to take the test again. But if you, when you, if you fail, it's really easy. It's like you can open up your book and you can just copy all the answers out of the book. Like it's like it's basically like an open book test. So even if you fail, you can just do it over again. It's no big deal. Um, attendance is mandatory. You have to have to come to every single session like it's mandatory to come to every single session because you are paying for it you already paid for it but if you do in any chance miss a day you're able to make up that class on saturday well mine was you're able to make up that class on saturday but it will differ from any driving school that you go to but you are able to make up make up the, make up the class 
but I suggest you actually just go and do it and get it over with because it's it's a long 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 process you're in class for like about 20 hours a week you know so you need to go and listen and do your homework and get all the answers and just learn and um, there's about 10 people in my class well about 12 people in my class and it's a very small classroom with these little desk chairs and then you have the board you have the projector and you have like TV and then you have the instructor there um, talking to you and um, and uh, teaching you and my first day was like pretty good um, we just learned about like the road signs and we learned about traffic laws and all that stuff and um, second day we learned about I'm trying to remember what we learned about I think we learned about um, like but like uh, stopping at traffic lights and stuff like that and what traffic lights mean. Uh, we did a little bit parallel parking, we learned about parallel parking and uh, driving and that stuff. And then the third day we learned about weather conditions, how to like maneuver, like what do you do. And um, fourth day, like today was the last day, we learned about like emergencies and we learned um, uh, how like what do you need to do when you do when you're ready to take your G2 road test? So like we're learning about that also. And so basically, at the end of the whole four days, um, you basically you'll get like so they will like either they take all your information. So they take they know they get your driver's license number and they take your homework and then they put your name into the system and then they ship your name to. Um, I think like I don't know who they ship. I think they ship it to the government or they ship it to Service Ontario or something like that. But they ship it off so that they would know that you completed this course and that you completed this school. So they will have that on your put that on your record. So when you're ready to take a G2 test or whatever, it will say that okay, so you completed you know da 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 da, da, da school. So then so then your insurance. Your insurance uh, gets reduced when they're able to see that on your record and um, so I hope you enjoyed this video It's gonna be the end of the video guys if you did enjoy this video just please give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my content whether it's my vlogs or my videos please subscribe to my channel and I see you all very very soon bye guys Whoa, 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 whoa